gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel reading today, we have heard two great stories of healing. And this is first the story of a woman who have been suffering from hemorrhage for 12 years. And second, and this is the healing of the daughter of the synagogue official, Jairus, and actually it was a dramatic healing because um, news came about that this child, little girl, already dead. But Jesus said, the child is not dead, but asleep. And Jesus, upon touching the little girl, held by the hand and said to her, the little koom, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. And these two stories of healing would inspire us again. Especially in this time of the pandemic where there are a lot of people are going sick. And you know that at this time of pandemic, when once you got sick, there are a lot of what we call uh, stress, anxieties caused by this uh, limit situation. Uh, this time, there is no already uh, the advice that we hear among our friends, family members, that when you get sick, then you have when when. When symptoms persist, consult the doctor or bring someone or bring that person to the hospital for immediate treatment. But here, there is already what we call a social stigma because of this COVID scare. If you get sick, you have to take good care of yourself, stay at home do some quarantine, do home care. Because when you caught the virus and you are brought to the hospital, you could just imagine the anxiety and the stress and problems causing once you are tested positive. What I'm saying is that, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. That sickness, which is inevitable, which is part of the human condition, everyone gets sick, whether we like it or not. It happens, even we, we are very health conscious. And here, what we are being reminded of today is that the power of prayer. When we seek God's intervention, especially in times that we are in need of help because we are sick. Dahil naniniwala po tayo na totoo na ang siyensa ay lalong-lalo na Ang um, kalusugan, the medical science. Um, it's really intervening for the fast healing and recovery of a person. But the fullness of recovery and healing is in fact comes from God. Lampo natin na ang Dios ang siyang pinaka mabisa at magaling na doktor na na siyang nagpapagaling sa lahat ng ating mga sakit at karamdaman. 
And here we see how Jairus, the Roman, the, the synagogue official, and, and the woman sought for God's healing, Christ's touch upon them. Sabi po ni Jairus, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come, lay your hands on her that she may get well and live. And the woman with hemorrhages was actually looking for the great opportunity to touch Jesus. Sabi niya, if only I can touch I'll be cured. And it happened when she touched the clock of Jesus. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. And you know, while reading the gospel reading, while reading the gospel of today, it uh, nasagi po yung isip ko dahil if you have to look at the years, the woman was suffering for 12 years with hemorrhage, while the little girl, already 12 years of age, and, and momentarily, news came about that she already dead. You see the comparison of the two, the woman who was actually almost dying for 12 years because she's losing a lot of blood. And yet this little girl at the age of 12 almost loses and lost her life. But the gospel reading today will give us a source of hope and consolation that everything is possible for God for those who believe in Him. Amen. Wala no? pong hindi imposible sa Diyos. At alam po natin ang ating pananampalataya sa Diyos ang nagbibigay ng ating kalakasan the reason why we do things because of our great faith and love for Him. My dear brothers and sisters, that is why let us always put our trust in the Lord. Let us always seek God to intervene for us, especially seeking Christ to touch us also, especially those who are sick and afflicted by this coronavirus. My dear brothers and sisters, the power of prayer and the power of the love of God are indeed proof. Napaka makapangyarihan ang dasal at ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin that this is actually the invitation for us. When we ask God's healing upon those who are sick, we are in fact asking God to restore them to health and restore them to the fullness of their person. Dahil alam po natin, ang karamdaman, our sickness, will in fact bring us to a kind of, you know, not only woundedness of the, of the heart, of the spirit, but you woundedness of one's memory. Kaya nga po, pag tayo po nagdarasal, hindi lang po tayo humihingi ng pagpapagaling sa ating karamdaman, our physical sickness. But when we ask for God's healing, it is a total healing of our spirit, kalooban. A total healing of our heart. 
and a total healing of our mind and our memory. That is why prayer is very powerful and the love of God is indeed powerful. We continue to pray, my dear brothers and sisters, praying and asking God's intervention and seeking Christ for His touch of healing, especially in this time of pandemic. You know why? Ang kamay ng Diyos ay magpapagaling sa lahat ng may kapansanan, lalong-lalong na sa ngayong panahon na pandemya. Amen. Please, sister.